So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, since this is a new uh, format for training at Lowe's stores, I want to take care of a few housekeeping items. The first one would be uh, on the right hand side of your screen, uh, this is a webinar and what you get is a toolbar, uh, it's a gray vertical toolbar uh, and within that is the chat window and that's where I would like you guys to go ahead and post your questions as they arise. Uh, each store could elect a captain to kind of steer the ship and navigate uh, for their store during this uh, webinar and go ahead and input your store number there uh, when you're on the call and how many attendees and we'll give everybody a minute or two to uh, again input your store number into the chat window uh, with a dash and then include how many attendees you have at your location. I'll give everybody a minute. All right, thanks everyone for inputting your store numbers and your attendees. So now let's go ahead and dive right into the webinar. First, we're going to talk about why we're here. Uh, we're here today, we're going to talk about Jackson Stoneworks. We're an SOS vendor in your fashion plumbing department that supplies all Lowe's stores nationwide with custom granite vanity tops. So today, one of the things we're going to touch on is granite vanity tops and what about them makes them special what makes people want to buy granite vanity tops uh, and provide you guys with some selling tips on how to address that. One of the other things we're going to go into is our website. Uh, we have an entire website that's devoted just to Lowe's uh, and our sales program at Lowe's and so we're going to touch on some of the additional colors and uh, some of the other resources that we have available on that website for you guys. And then finally, we're actually going to place an order on a demo M2O system so that we can walk you guys through the entire ordering process so that you know exactly where to go and how to order our products. As I mentioned, we're a custom granite vanity top supplier. Uh, some of the key points about granite that your customers may or not be aware of, it is naturally antimicrobial. And what does that mean? That means that it does not retain bacteria. So that makes it one of the cleanest countertop surfaces on the market. It's also very durable. It's made of natural stone, and it is scratch resistant, it is stain resistant, and it's also heat resistant. So you can even put a hot curling iron on the surface, and it will not have any effect on the stone. And then, of course, it's beautiful. Uh, that's one of probably the most important and key points for most customers is the beauty of the stone. And since it is natural, that means each one is unique. Some selling tips to touch base with your customers about. First of all, Granite is the most popular home improvement product on the market today. One of the reasons that it's so popular is because of the value uh, that it carries. It actually has the highest return on investment of any home improvement project on the market. And What that means is for every dollar that you're actually spending on that countertop, you're investing that money in the value of your home and increasing your home value at a greater rate uh, than what you're spending. And that's something that can be very important for customers. All of our products are 100% natural granite. Uh, we do not have any engineered man-made surfaces uh, and so you can be certain that it's going to have that that color depth and the clarity that comes with natural stone. And then of course the durability. Uh, granite is the most durable countertop surface on the market. It actually uh, will be there long after we're all gone. Uh, it'll last, last a lifetime uh, and more. And that's also a key point for customers. Uh, it will not only increase the home, the home value, but it'll also still be there uh, long after they're out of that home.
One key point that we want to touch on is that we're an exclusive line of products for Lowe's. Uh, we do not sell to any other retailer, Home Depot, Menards, any of the other retail uh, environments out there, Ace Hardware. And what that means is that we're totally focused 100% on Lowe's. All of our customer service associates are trained on Lowe's processes, uh, and that means that they're focused on helping you guys take care of your customers. We've been with Lowe's for a little over 10 years now, and what that means is that we know your processes, uh, we know how to best take care of your customers, uh, and we were basically the first major granite supplier to supply granite on a regional or national basis with Lowe's. Uh, what we're looking at here are a couple of examples of our original displays. Uh, the one on the left here is a six color display and the one on the right is a ten color. And Some of you guys may still have these in your stores and those uh, colors are still available through your M2O system. And We're also going to take a look at some new displays uh, that a lot of you guys might have. Uh, the most popular of which is probably the 22 color wall mount on the left. Uh, that is the most prevalent and is probably in the most stores. Um, the, the newest version of the display is the 15 color spinner or turnstile display uh, and that one is the most recent rollout that took place this past year. Some of you guys may have that one. Uh, in the middle there is the 12 color pod display. Uh, that one's in several hundred stores across the country. And then probably the second most prevalent to that wall mount is the drawer display. Uh, as you may notice that's actually the same display but we actually designed it to be universal for either a wall mount or a drawer functionality. Uh, so you may have one of those two versions. With regard to the 12 color and the 15 color displays, it's important to point out that even though there's only 12 colors on that display or 15 colors uh, in that spinner turn style, all of our colors are available to your customers uh, at those locations and they're all still loaded in your M2O system for ordering. All right, so let's touch on a few reasons why you would choose Jackson Stoneworks. Uh, the first and foremost is going to be quality. Uh, we use only 100% natural stone, uh, and every top that leaves our facility, it has to meet our standards for both quality and accuracy uh, because we want to make sure that each customer gets exactly what they want, exactly what they ordered, uh, and it is the best possible quality stone. Uh, and so each top actually goes through a three-point uh, inspection process before it ever leaves here to make sure that your customer gets it right the first time. Another reason to choose Jackson Stoneworks is our selection. Uh, we actually have the largest selection available in the Lowe's store environment. Uh, we have two distinct product lines uh, and over 22 colors available. Um, one product line that we offer is the more economical choice of the three quarter inch thickness. Uh, that one has 10 color options available. And then we also offer a more premium line of granite, which is the inch and a quarter thickness, and that one has 12 color options uh, within, that, uh, within that category. Um, and these are the ones that are actually on your M2O system that you can order uh, right there at your terminal. Uh, but one of the really key things that we want to point out with our selection is that we actually have an entire stone yard that's available to your customers. Uh, and I'm going to actually go over to our website right now and show that to you, uh, because that's actually where those colors are found. And since we are an exclusive Lowe's vendor, you can feel free to refer your customers to our website to look at these colors. Uh, so let's go there now. All right. This is our Lowe's.JacksonStoneworks.com website. It was created specifically for uh, Lowe's sales uh, of Jackson Stoneworks products nationwide. Uh, as you can see there, uh, they actually have some of the key points about our products uh, listed down here on the home page. Uh, but right now we're going to go over to the color options and we're going to take a look at some of those exotic granite color options I was talking about. Uh, so if you, nav if you are on the website, you go to color options, navigate down to the exotics, click on that. And this is a live shot of the colors that are actually in our yard today. Um, each week we update this uh, page on our website with new colors as they come in and remove old colors uh, as we go through the stone. Uh, and as you can see here, customers can actually request a sample of any of these colors 
for free on our website simply by clicking on this link or they can actually go to uh, another location here under the color options tab and let's take a look at one of these colors colonial cream is one of our more popular colors and if you click on it it actually expands within your window and you can actually get a close-up of what the stone looks like and this is again the actual slab that the customer would be purchasing uh, if they were to choose this color uh, they can request a sample of it, we'll send it out to them, and once they approve that, we'll actually cut their top from that particular slab. All right, and we're going to come back to the website in just a moment. But first I want to talk about customization. Uh, this is actually our niche at Lowe's. This is our specialty, uh, custom granite vanity tops. Uh, as you can see, our motto, um, and you, some of you guys may be familiar with this from our faxes, but is any shape, any size, any sink. And bear with me for just a moment. For some reason, my application has changed here. And I do apologize. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had a little technical difficulty there. Uh, but as you can see, we're back to the customization page uh, of the presentation. And again, our, our motto that you see down there at the bottom, uh, some of you guys that receive our faxes are familiar with that. And it's any shape, any size, any sink. Uh, and it's kind of our way of saying we can do anything that your customer wants done. All we need is the specs, and we can provide you with a quote, and we can ship it out to the store. Within this slide, you can see a couple of examples of some custom tops that we did uh, for Lowe's customers. And here's one in particular. Uh, this one actually has, uh, as you can see, a custom height splash here. And uh, this is actually a one foot splash that someone requested because they wanted a full height splash to meet up with a uh, raised mirror. And as you can see, that's uh, something that's very custom that we were able to accommodate. And then here, uh, on the top to the right is essentially an inverted insignia top where the customer actually wanted the bump out to be in the middle of the two bowls rather than in front of the two bowls. So those are just a couple of examples of some custom tops that we've done. Uh, and those are things that uh, if your customers come in, they have something really specific, something custom that they want, think Jackson Stoneworks. All right, and within that, uh, this is kind of where we bridge the gap between the fashion plumbing and the kitchen cabinet department, and that's within the no square foot minimums. Uh, since we don't have square footage minimums, that means that we can do virtually anything for your customer, from cafe nooks to island tops, pretty much anything that they can design, we can create and ship to your store. And as you can see there, we actually list our phone number and our fax number for you guys to use to get a custom quote. You can either call and we'll give you one over the phone and then fax you a written version or you can just fax over your specs if we're not here or if you don't have time and we'll get back to you usually within the hour with a quote on that stuff. So uh, customers come in, they want something really specific, really custom, think Jackson Stoneworks uh, and give us a call. All right, so now we're going to get into the M2O tutorial part of our presentation. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we do have custom items that fall outside of the constraints of M2O, and those are the ones like uh, the cafe nooks and the entertainment centers and the islands where you would give us a call. But for the most part, most of your tops are going to be able to be ordered right there on the M2O system. As you can see, both standard and custom items are available on the M2O system. And so we're going to go through some examples of some of the custom options that are M2O, and then we're actually going to go through and price out one on our demo version. So some of the custom options that are available uh, relate to the sinks, and this is kind of the any sink portion of our motto. 
Uh, we can do undermounts, we can do drop-ins, we can do semi-recessed vessels. Uh, again, all we need is the information in terms of the manufacturer and model number, and then we'll handle it from there. We'll actually pull the template uh, from our laser templating machine, and we'll actually cut it out uh, for the customer's specific requests. Some other custom options that are available on M2O involve edge profiles. As you can see, we have four edge profiles here, the half bowl, the full bowl, the flat, and the OG. Uh, and all of these are available through your M2O system, uh, with the exception of the OG, which is in, in the process of being added. If that's something that you want, you would just go ahead and process the order straight through and then just give us a call, uh, and we'll make the change for you. Um, but we can do any of those four uh, custom edge profiles for your customers. Some additional custom touches that we added to the M2O were the radius and the soap dispenser hole drillings. Uh, these are things that we found uh, just nice little um, decorative touches that customers liked that we went ahead and put in there to make it easy for ordering. Um, and so now what we're going to do is take a look at these things in action on the actual M2O system. So we're going to navigate over to my demo and we're going to price out a top. All right, so here we are in the M2O system, and you guys are probably very familiar with this page. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with a new quote. Now, as you can see, this is a this is just a demo version that we use uh, in house, so it doesn't have all of the options outside of our products that you would normally see. Uh, but it will, for our purposes right now, uh, allow us to go through and show you exactly where to navigate uh, in order to order our products. So the first place we're going to look is in the Fashion Plumbing Division and select that. And then the next selection you're going to have there is going to be the product style, which for our purposes is Vanity Tops. And as you're aware, there would be other choices here in your live version at your store. Uh, so again, uh, since we're in the demo version, some of those options are not going to be shown. Uh, so go ahead and select Vanity Tops. And then we go into the type of Vanity Top. This is very important in determining exactly what options are going to be shown uh, to you as you navigate your way through placing the order. So we're going to start right here with uh, vanity top with bowl, vanity top with bowl cutout, vanity top accessories, and vanity top slab. And again, each type is going to completely determine what your options are from there. Vanity top with bowl is probably the most common, and that one actually involves a top where your customer wants to use the bowl that we provide uh, and not an aftermarket bowl for the uh, vanity top of their choice. Uh, the bowls that we provide are undermount uh, oval sinks that are 17 by 14 uh, and then we have a smaller version which is a 15 by 12. Uh, so if they're wanting to use either one of those type of bowls this is where you would want to go. The example I think we're going to do today, uh, we're going to do something a little more custom. We're going to do a vessel top. And so within the vessel tops, you would actually go into the vanity top with bowl cutout uh, because we actually would have to cut out that uh, hole in order to fit whatever vessel it is uh, that the customer is requesting. So let's go ahead and we'll dive right in and choose vanity top with bowl cutout. And as you can see, again, it skipped over a few of the questions and answers because it is a demo, but I do want to point out to you right here you would choose Manufacturer Jackson Stoneworks, and this is our logo so that you're familiar with it. And you would choose Jackson Stoneworks. And since we're already in Vanity Top with Bowl Cutout, as you can see, it already selected Custom for us. So we would choose Custom. And now you have the option between the 3 quarter inch uh, economical uh, line of products uh, that we have or the inch and a quarter more premium granite options. For our purposes, we're going to do a tropic brown inch and a quarter. So let's go ahead and choose the inch and a quarter. And now it's going to ask us for the model, or excuse me, the manufacturer name. Uh, one of the more common uh, vessel sinks that we come across is DecoLab. They're a very popular uh, product, I'm sure you know, in your fashion plumbing department there. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. Click the button. It's going to ask for the model number, and here you would just type in whatever the model number may be. And again, click the button. And so now that information will be transferred electronically to our order processing department, and that will tell us everything we need to know in terms of being able to pull a template from DecoLab's site, um, 
print it out on our laser templating machine and get it cut to the right specifications for your customer. You guys don't have to do anything further from there. Now it's asking about sides against walls and what this is going to determine is which uh, splash options that you're going to be offered uh, later on in the question series. So for our purposes we're going to go ahead and say sides against walls right and we're going to say that uh, this is the configuration that the customer needs and choose that one. Right. So now it's asking about the length of the top and we're going to go ahead with a 43 inch but whatever the length might be you would just type that in and hit click the button and then it asks about the depth uh, since we are in vanity top with bowl cutout uh, and the customer could be using any number of uh, different aftermarket sinks it does give you a range to choose from here uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in 22 and a half uh, which as you can see here is actually the standard uh, but uh, had they chosen anything other than that you could just type it in here and then click the button now it's going to ask about the bowl spacing. Uh, one important thing to note here is that bowl spacing is always measured from the left to the right. And that's not just for our products, that's for any product on the M20 system that pertains to vanity tops. So you're always going to measure from left to right to get that measurement. And so it asks, do you want a centered or do you want an offset? Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with the centered. And then here we've come to the bowl cutout options. As you can see, you can choose the vessel, you can choose the drop in. There's the undermount, and then there's also the semi-recess, uh, which essentially is a vessel that's uh, dropped down into the countertop. Uh, and so for our purposes, we're building a vessel, so we're going to choose bowl vessel cutout. Now it's going to ask us about the faucet hole drilling. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, multiple options here. Um, the most common for a vessel is the single hole. So we're going to choose single hole, but as you can see, you do have a 4-inch straight, an 8-inch straight, the contour, and as well as a, a no faucet hole drilling, that one really comes into play more often when there is potentially a drop-in sink or maybe the faucets are coming out of the wall in some of your more contemporary designs. Uh, but uh, for our purposes, let's go ahead and choose the single hole faucet. And then here we have several options in terms of where we want that single hole placement to be. Uh, we have a left, which we refer to as the 10 o'clock. We have the center, and then we have the right. And uh, so the customer has several options there. Uh, for our purposes, let's go ahead and go with the center. And now we've come to the edge profile portion. So as you can see, the flat double eased is listed as our standard edge, but we do offer a half bull nose and a bull nose, and then uh, OG is kind of uh, uh, coming soon to your M2O. So uh, for now, you would just choose one of these options and then give us a call, and we can make that change uh, for you. But for our purposes, let's go ahead and choose the flat. And as you can see, it's asking now about the edge profile location, and that is completely based on the fact that we had selected the uh, sides against walls to be right uh, earlier in the question and answer series. So since the side against wall is right, then logically uh, that choice has been eliminated, and so you can choose front and left, or you could choose only front if for some reason the customer did not want that edge uh, polished, which... Uh, most of the time it's going to be the front and left option here. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Now it's asking about side splashes and this initial question is essentially just asking do you want a side splash? And so we're going to go ahead and say yes. And then it's going to tell us that it is a uh, four inch loose side splash and this is more for clarification purposes than anything. Um, but you could choose none if you decided uh, perhaps there's uh, not a wall there but it's actually some sort of a uh, cabinet or something like that that you don't want to attach a splash to, you, the customer could choose none here. Um, but again, most of the time, that's going to be uh, the right side splash that you're going to choose there. And then it asks if you would like a backsplash, and for our purposes, we're going to say yes. And there's a corner option here. And again, this also falls within the uh, framework of the M2O question and answer series. As you see, the only choices here are square and left radius because up here we did again indicate that the sides against walls were right and you can't put a radius uh, against a, a flat wall. So we're going to actually choose the square option. And now we've come to the color selection portion of the ordering process. As you can see there's 12 color options here available. Uh, these are all the inch and a quarter thick premium stones that we have. Uh, but let's say uh, your customer actually said, well, I don't like any of these colors. I was actually looking for the tan brown. 
uh, and I don't see that here. Uh, so that should kind of uh, alert you that uh, you need to change the thickness up here uh, at the top of the question and answer series, and that will actually open up the other colors to you. Uh, as I mentioned before, we do have two distinct product lines. We have the three-quarter inch, uh, which is a little bit more economical, and it's also 50% thinner than the more premium option uh, here, which is the inch and a quarter uh, granite options. So let's go back, and we would just click on thickness, change that to three-quarter, it's going to ask us to verify a couple of the other questions and answers that we had already input. We're going to put those back in. And then now it shows us the other color options uh, within the three-quarter inch uh, more economical uh, collection. So we're going to choose tan brown there. All right. And now we've gone all the way through the ordering process. And it's just that simple. So let's go ahead and go back to our slideshow and wrap that up and then we're going to do some question and answer. Okay, thanks for your patience on that. So a couple of more things we want to touch on. Um, the first is shipping. Uh, I know that um, a lot of you guys who have experience ordering granite, um, one of the concerns that customers sometimes have, uh, or at least one of the concerns that you guys have as sales specialists, is getting it there on time, uh, not just on time, but intact. And this is kind of where our experience really comes into play for us. We've been shipping vanity tops all over the country for 10 years with Lowe's, uh, and so we've actually designed our packaging to provide not only structural support, but also ease of inspection at the receiving department uh, so that you guys are alerted to any issues immediately upon arrival. Um, but as you can see, we don't experience that many issues. Um, we're actually, uh, we have the best, uh, as far as breakage rates within the granite industry uh, at Lowe's, we have the lowest damage rate at 2% nationwide, uh, something we're really proud of, something that we work really hard at to make sure that we maintain that, uh, because we do want your customers to get it uh, in time and intact on the first, on the first order. All right. The uh, home delivery is also something we want to touch on. Um, some of these tops, uh, in, regardless if it's granite or if it's solid surface or even cultured marble, anything over 48 inches or so becomes very cumbersome. Uh, and so we recommend the Lowe's Home Delivery and Installation Services to all of our customers. Uh, and um, we, we really feel like if you're going to go ahead and get a new countertop uh, for your bathroom, you're trying to upgrade it, why not have it installed uh, the right way the first time by professionals? Um, and so although, you know, a lot of customers are, do this as a DIY project, uh, we strongly recommend contracting the Lowe's uh, Home Delivery and Installation Services. All right. Uh, just some selling tips for you guys. Um, one of the things about granite, uh, yes, it's antimicrobial. Yes, it's durable. Uh, yes, it has a great return on investment. But the real reason that people buy granite is because they want the look of granite in their bathroom. Uh, so essentially what you're selling is a lifestyle. Uh, and so although people do want that luxury, uh, they, they don't want to give up affordability, and that's where we come in at Lowe's. Uh, we offer the customer uh, essentially all the benefits of shopping at a specialty granite shop, uh, but within that Lowe's environment that includes the, the everyday low price and the satisfaction guarantee uh, that they want. And so if you kind of keep that in mind when you're talking to customers, you know, we do want to touch on all of the important uh, features and benefits of the product, but ultimately it's really that look and feel of granite that the customer's looking for. All right. And now we've come to uh, the uh, service portion of it, and this is kind of where I just want to touch on uh, our exclusivity also means that all of our sales specialists are here to help you guys. Uh, everyone here is trained on your M2O system. Uh, we're trained on how you guys uh, work as far as your internal processes. And so we're 100% focused on you as our customer. Uh, and so listed here are, uh, are our contact information. Um, the phone number, uh, our hours of operation have been expanded to include Saturdays because we know that's such a busy day for you guys. Uh, so we're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and also on Saturday from 8 to 2, uh, because we want to be here to help you guys help your customers. 
Um, one thing to touch on here as well on this slide is the delivery times. Uh, as you can see, our standard items are delivered nationwide in seven days, and our custom items uh, arrive within 10 to 14 days nationwide. Now, if you go into your M2O system, you will see an official lead time of 21 days, uh, but we find that 99% uh, of the time, all of our tops arrive uh, delivered to your store within 10 to 14, uh, even if they are custom items. All right. So um, we're going to go into some question and answer. Uh, these are a couple of the questions that we've identified that we come across the most, so I'll go ahead and touch on these first. Uh, as far as care and maintenance, uh, a lot of people aren't that familiar with granite as a countertop surface. Uh, they think that it requires additional maintenance. Uh, it's actually uh, quite the contrary. Uh, all it requires is soap and water because it is, again, antimicrobial, which means it doesn't retain bacteria, and it is actually the cleanest countertop surface on the market, uh, more so than stainless steel, more so than any of the cultured marbles or man-made engineered uh, products. Um, we do recommend soap and water. There are several companies who have come out with various specific stone cleaners, uh, such as 409. Uh, they brought a product to the market that's a stone cleaner that does a great job, and uh, you know we wouldn't discourage anyone from buying that. Uh, but again, granite's already low maintenance. Um, soap and water is all is required to maintain it. Um, one of the other questions we get is about the sealing of the product. Uh, the tops that we ship out of here are sealed, uh, but we also provide a free bottle of sealer with every top that goes out of here, uh, and it is actually the DuPont Stone Tech, which is the top of the line sealer, and it's rated for three to five years of protection. So why do you need to seal the top? Well, granite is a porous uh, surface, and what that means is that water can penetrate into the stone. If the water penetrates into the stone, essentially it discolors the stone uh, the same way that a rock that rolls into a stream would be discolored. Uh, but just in that same way, once the water evaporates out, it goes right back to its original color. Um, so really what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put some... Uh, put the sealer on there. Uh, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes and it's uh, as simple as, as actually cleaning the product. You wipe it on with a rag, uh, allow it to penetrate the stone, and then you're going to wipe away any excess. Uh, and again, that's going to last for three to five years. Uh, at this point, I do want to open it up to any questions you guys might have uh, about the products. And uh, I will uh, allow you guys to go ahead and type those right into the chat window on the right hand side of your screen within that vertical toolbar and I'll be glad to address any of those. All right. Well, I see that we don't have any questions, uh, which is great. That must mean that I did an excellent job uh, or else you guys have all fallen asleep by now. Hopefully it's the uh, former and not the latter. Um, but one of the things I want to do is I want to put the uh, customer service slide back up for you guys real quick uh, because it does have all of our contact information. If you think of questions, maybe you're shy and you don't want to type into the chat window today, uh, feel free to give our customer service team a call. Uh, again, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and on Saturdays from 8 to 2, uh, and we'll be glad to help you. Uh, that's what we're here for. Uh, our entire staff, again, uh, exists only to serve you guys. So give us a call. Uh, or go to our website, and um, I thank you for participating, and you guys have a great day.